Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you wouldn't hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation. As you can see, we did fall quite significantly the last two weeks and on Friday we technically rallied a little bit. We did not break above the 150 moving average. Until we do, um, we will stay within this range, or most likely. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So we are still above the middle of the bullish band here. So if we were to continue this rally here, they will may well be go back towards the top, which is 133. So stock market in general, was rallying significantly and we did bounce off the 200 moving average which usually is a very good sign so break above here or a close above the 150 then we will probably go and test these previous highs again and continue this rally towards the all-time highs so let's look at dvi so dvi also rallied but it did not get very far not uh, it did rally 1.78%. However, it's still trading underneath the 20 exponential, 40 and 50. And uh, this was very overstretched. So if we get rejected here, then we may fall back towards the previous lows and break below that. That could drop this all the way down to the 100 and, um, 150 moving average. However, technical indicators, they are turning around. MACD is on the signal line. RSI is bullish and CCI is getting bullish. And so is the stochastic still if this continue, it will cross the signal line. If we break above, above the middle of the bullish band, then we will probably go and target the top here of 120. So let's look at VTI. So VTI also rallied to its all-time highs, up 1.21%, uh, and everything is looking fairly nice for this. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, so is the stochastic still, but it's not crossing the signal line, but in bullish territory. And we are fairly getting fairly overstretched here in the bullish band. So we'll 226. That is where we will find resistance in the bullish band, and we are still significantly overstretched. So even though we had this pullback here, we could still expect pullbacks in the next coming week. So let's let's look at MCHI. So. This did recover uh, fairly nicely. It got absolutely tortured. It went all the way down to 75. It did recover up to 77 and then ran into resistant in the at the 300 moving average. So the question is whether or not we'll chop our way back towards the top or get rejected here and fall back down because then we are talking about a massive fall all the way down to towards these levels here. So... Um, Let's see what, what happens here. But uh, it looks like these you know, moving averages are also going to travel this way and cross the 300 moving average. And that will probably mean that we'll have a long-term downtrend for this ETF. But uh, that is to be seen. MACD is still bullish and uh, still bearish. The RSI is bullish and CCI is bearish and so is the stochastic. And we were, of course, significantly overstretched here in the on Thursday. Therefore, we'll probably be bounced and we gapped higher and then rallied a little bit on Friday. We could rally up towards the middle of the bullish band. That's still a rally of roughly 3.39% uh, to the upside. And that will just get us right underneath the 50 moving average. So let's look at VTA, VTA, IVV. So... This also rallied significantly on, on Friday, up to 1.06%, and it's also looking uh, very bullish. MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is also bullish, and so is Stochastic, and we're approaching a 440. We probably have quite a, a big pullback at that point, uh, because we'll reach the top of the bullish band, and we are still significantly overstretched. So even though we are are rallying we are in territory where this could pull back quite significantly we did pull back towards the 20 but uh, in order to get this rsi lower and also get basically get this uh lower here then we need a pullback towards the 50 moving average something similar to this something similar to that and so on so 
this is fairly overstretched and could easily pull back at any point. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and uh, good luck.